My name is Tim Van Milligan, and I'm from Apogee Components. Uh, Apogee is uh, a leading model rocket company in the world. Uh, but we're actually located here in Colorado Springs. Um, I'm right off uh, Garden of the Gods and uh, I-25 in that area right off Fillmore. Um, and you're welcome to come by if you ever want to come by and see some rockets. Um, tonight, I'm here at the Explorer Post at Challenging Learning Center in Colorado Springs, and I'm here to do a presentation on how to design rockets for the drag race competition that the Explorers here in Colorado Springs are going to have. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and start with that. So what? This is an audience participation, so if you want to if you want to talk, you can talk. We got a little doggy running around. This is kind of cool. <laughs> if if you want to uh, speak up, just go ahead and speak up. Um, but remember, you're going to be taped because I'm taping this for my website. Um, in your contest, there's basically three rules that how you're going to win, right? What's the first one? Lowest apogee. Okay. Lowest. Epigee. Okay, what's the next one? Um, longest to flight? No, first to leave the first, pad. First, first motion? Yeah. And what's the next one? Uh, last to land. Last to land. Okay, so you get one point for the lowest. I don't know how to erase that. <laughs> well, just pretend that's not there. <laughs> just pretend it's not there. That's not there. <laughs> I can erase the whole thing. Ah, okay. Um, so you get one point for the lowest apogee, one point for first motion, and one point for the, the last rocket to land. Is there any other criteria? Yeah, um, lowest cost. Lowest cost. You get. You split up the points a little differently. Okay, how's that? Three for lowest apogee, two for last landing, one for motion, and two for lowest cost. Okay, so two for lowest cost. What was this? Three. Three. It's one and two. One and two. Okay, let's see if this. Uh, <coughs> three for lowest apogee, one for first motion, two for last land, and two for lowest cost. Okay. Okay, so this, which one's most important? Lowest apogee. Lowest apogee. How are we going to design a rocket for lowest apogee? Lightweight, small motor. Okay, can we erase? All of it. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> okay, lightweight. And what would you the other thing that you said? Small motor. Small motor. Okay. How does light weight give us lowest altitude? Lighter weight, you have the um, smaller motor you can use because each motor has like some of the Estes motors. I know the Estes, or the motor I'm using is only rated for 175 grams. Okay, so you're saying. We, if we use a small motor, we can go lighter weight, and, and then it's not going to go as high. Yeah. Okay. But it, typically in rocketry, to go high, we want light weight, right? Yeah, if you want to stay low, then you're going to want to be heavier for the for your. Yeah. Rocket. So, so basically, what is altitude? You know, what what factors go into uh, ALT? <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> altitude. So we want lightweight for high altitude. Lightweight. Big engine. What else? What makes our rocket go higher, Allison? What is it? Airfoil thin, and what is that called? Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. Low drag. Anything else? I'm just checking. That, that's a good place to start. Uh, well, uh, longer, er, longer time for the deployment charge. 
Um, oh. Yeah, a little bit. That could be, that, that's a factor. The other factor is, is weather. How does weather affect your rocket? If it's really windy, then it's going to mess with um, how high you're flying. And why is that? Because if you're going like this, you're not going like this. So basically you're saying the rocket's going to turn. Yeah. Yeah. If the wind's blowing this way, what's going to happen is you got wind pushing on these fins back here. So it's going to pivot the rocket around the center of gravity. Does everybody know what center of gravity is? Yes. That's right where you balance it on your hand. So right about there is the center of gravity. So an object will always rotate about its center of gravity. So if you're pushing here, it's going to rotate here, which means the, the nose is going to go this way. So, so what's going to happen is your rocket is going to go into the wind. And this is called weather cocking. So if your weather cocks really hard, is it going up? No. All right. You guys are smart. Okay. So, yeah, question? Well, actually, that would be if, if you could get the drag race on a windy day, that would actually be kind of an advantage. Because, one, it would go as close to sideways as it uh, could, which means that it wouldn't be sh uh, putting all its momentum up. It would be putting all its momentum into its direction, which, like, you wouldn't. Yeah, I, I understand up. what you're saying. It, yeah. It's not going to go as high. Your trajectory, if this is the rocket right here, fins down here, it's going to go whoop, instead of going like this. Yeah, it's going to get lower altitude. Yeah. And it's going to save longer to come down because that one's going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Yeah. Okay, so lightweight, in general, the lighter the object, the, the further you can throw it, right? Yeah. Or, or launch it. So to keep the rocket low, do we really want to be lightweight? No. Not necessarily, but maybe. We won't say, we won't say definitely. How about big engine? No. Probably not. Big engine. So we want to go small engine. How about low drag? Oh, you're going to want high drag. High drag. Good. That will also help in coming down later, too. Yes, it could. And uh, the weather, we really can't control the weather. So I'm just going to cross that one off. Okay, so now we got lightweight, small engine, and drag. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, erase. <laughs> All right. Um, so, how we want? We said low weight, or, or let's let's leave weight out of this for a second. Let's go with drag. Ooh, red. <laughs> drag. What is? How do? What is drag? The amount of wind resistance.